today I want to show you guys how to make some homemade raisins. So let's get started. It's a three day process, so I'm going to start today and then hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday, since today is Monday, so hopefully by Wednesday or Thursday I will have some raisins to show you. But I'm going to show you my setup and I'm going to kind of explain the process and then I'll see you guys in three days. So this is just the first layer. You have to place them kind of strategically, otherwise they won't dehydrate properly if there's like too many per row. So I kind of spaced them out. whole bag here that I'm going to try to fit um, in my little things. I have about 10 of these, 7 of these, I don't know. This is what it looks like. You need to have at least 4 of these things. That's just what my dehydrator says. You should read what your dehydrator says because it might be different. You should definitely read your manual for how long it says it's going to take because I don't know if all dehydrators do it at the same temperature or I don't know. I'm really new to this still. So um, this is just how I do it. This is what I have. I didn't think that I had to say this but just in case I have to say this make sure you wash your grapes first. Like at least just rinse them off first. So I've turned the dehydrate. I've turned the dehydrator on. Let me flip you around and show you what it looks like. So it's a Nesco dehydrator and since I'm doing fruits and vegetables it says 135 so put the dial on 135. I will see you guys in three days. So it is day two and it was so windy and rainy that the power literally shut off and it's been off for the past like three hours and you're not supposed to turn off your dehydrator while you're using it because then it can make your stuff spoil. So my husband just came home with a generator that he got from work and I'm like hoping and praying that my raisins are not spoiled. We just got power again. We literally are, <laughs> we're literally using an extension cord so that's bus life in a nutshell um yeah i'm gonna plug my dehydrator back in and hopefully my raisins aren't shit we'll we'll see in two more days oh i already ate one full layer of <laughs> raisins let me take this off yummy i used green grapes so that's why the color is a little off i don't know if you can tell in pictures but they're not like super duper dark purple They're bomb. They're super thick. Look at how big that is. Bomb. That's what raisins look like. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. If you want me to keep making videos like this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions for me for things that you would like me to try to make. And if you made it this far, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Mwah!